Hello, my name is Dr. David Dowling. I'm here to talk to you about my research, um, which I feel may be the future of vaccination in the 21st century. Uh, I'm a PhD uh, immunologist. I did my undergraduate in biotech in DCU. And when I came to DCU more than 10 years ago, my main goal was to get a good education. So this was the advice from my mother, not to follow the advice of my father was to try and become a soccer player. But after I got a good education, uh, after about 10 years in DCU, I went back and looked at some of the advice that I got from my father in a different perspective. And this is the philosophy that I currently have in the work that I do. Uh, my father was very into trying to use your education to help other people. He didn't have the opportunity to go to third level education himself. And his idea for every person in society is to try and help the most vulnerable in any way you can. But one of the things that I struggled with when I finished up my studies here in DCU was to how to apply this education in a way that best helps society, not in Ireland, but also throughout the world. Um, and this opportunity came to me in 2009 when I started looking for different jobs around all over the world. Found it very hard to get any interviews in Ireland. So I, I often joke in 2009 during the recession, the only places a person with a third level education and maybe a PhD in Ireland could get an interview was in Harvard and Yale. And actually, they're the only places I could get interviews. Um, so it was a little bit challenging. So I ended up going to uh, Boston Children's Hospital. And here I met my current mentor. His name is Dr. Ofer Levy. He's a pediatrician. He works in infectious disease. And he introduced me to the philosophy that the most vulnerable people in the world are children. And this is my research building here. It's named after jo uh, John Enders, who uh, discovered uh, methodologies to culture polio. And, the one, and he won a Nobel Prize in 1954 uh, for this discovery. And everyone was so happy with this, they named the building after him. So this idea of the most vulnerable people in society being the most youngest among us, children the day they're born all over the world became something I was very interested in and it became my new goal. And the reason why this is something I'm so interested in is babies are unique when they're born. And why is that? Infectious disease still in the world today are the most prominent cause of childhood death. About two thirds of all the children who die in childhood die of some type of infectious disease, whether it's HIV, malaria, tuberculosis, pneumococcal disease, and all the other types of diseases that you can come across. And I'm really invested in my career in trying to overcome this challenge. So my idea is to help make better vaccines. I'm not talking about replacing vaccines, I'm talking about making them better. Vaccines are great. What they do, or what they have done in the world and the history of the world has changed our societies. In particular, vaccines have eliminated many diseases. But one of the problems with vaccination is that they don't work that well early in life, in particular in what we call the neonatal period, the first days and weeks of life. Most vaccines are given at about two months, four months, six months, 12 months of age. And this leaves what is known as a window of vulnerability where children are highly susceptible to infection. So I'm trying to come up with ways of fixing this. So my goal is to help develop the future of vaccination in the world. And I want to try and put across an idea that we can come up as a society with an ideal universal vaccine. My characterization of this vaccine would have two components. One, it will give you immediate protection against all diseases or as many as we can come up with. And secondly, it can be given at birth. And this is the research that I'm currently working on. Now, how are we going to make this happen? The first thing that we need to try and do is understand the immune system of humans, but more particularly, understand the immune system of people as they grow old, in particular when they're born. Now, if we can understand that, we can come up with the best tools to try and fix this. The second thing we need to do is to use this knowledge to make the vaccine. And this is not an easy thing. A lot of people in the world are investing time in this. I'm not the only one. There's hundreds of thousands of people throughout the world. But if we combine our knowledge together, it is something we can do. And the last thing I believe you need to understand or have faith in is that this is actually a possibility. I can stand here and talk about what I think is possible, but I think it's, as a society, we need to believe that we can change these outcomes. And one way I can try and help you to believe that this is a possibility is I can give you my personal experience of how, why I believe this is uh, something that is 
the future vaccination in the 21st century. So this is the slide I showed you earlier. This is Boston Children's Hospital. This is where I work. And this is named after John Enders, who is the researcher who developed the methodologies to uh, study polio, which led to a vaccine being finally introduced in 1956. He is currently known as the father of modern vaccination because his discovery and also polio and, and, and other the viral diseases such as measles, measles led to what is known as a age of modern vaccination that through the 40s up to the 1980s and 90s eliminated many of the infectious diseases that we have to deal with in the 20th century. And what you see behind me here is a picture that I walk past every day in the lobby of the Children's Hospital. And when I walk past this, it reminds me that his work has affected millions of people's lives all over the world, but also people here in this room, and also mine. And I'll give you an example of this. I'm a scientist. I like data. I like evidence. This is my pediatric vaccine record. You can see in the 1984, it wasn't that detailed. Things are still handwritten. But this is when I was still a child. I was 80, uh, just a year old. I myself received the polio vaccine that John Enders, 50 years before I was born, started working on. And I believe that if we put work in now, 50 years from now as a society, we can develop vaccine strategies that can eliminate all, possibly, of infectious disease that have a major effect on people in Ireland, but also throughout the world. Thank you very much. <laughs>